Good morning for everyone. I want to say thanks a lot to Dr. Chin Mai for your warm invitation. I'm very happy to be in my true home once again. It's, it's true. It is true because it's the place in where Adman dwells. This is my home, definitely. Thank you. This is my, my paper today, and it, it's my, my message today. It's a, a meeting of minds, a crossing of cultures between East and West. Let me dedicate this special moment in this holy place to my beloved Vedanta Master, Pushya Swamiji Dayananda Saraswati. He attended Mahasamadhi a few days ago and all my gratitude and my love for him. This paper, I based the part of uh, physics, mechanics or quantum mechanics on David Bond, who is well known physics and his theory about implicate order. This paper examines the approach and relationship between matter and consciousness from an interdisciplinary holistic paradigm. Thus it establishes a link between Western thought of quantum mechanics and the ancestral knowledge from the body of knowledge called Veda. The explanation about the consciousness or subtle level and the intimate link with the objective reality is resting on the fundamental concepts of Vedanta, which includes some classical and sacred texts such as Bhagavad Gita and Muntaku Upanishad, among others. Therefore, Vedanta's view become the epicenter of all knowledge and understanding so that it provides innovative, innovative approaches such as evolutionary learning as well as pedagogical and educational tools. Besides this holistic vision, it also provides different strategies to problem solving in our health and lifestyle from the biological, psychological, social, spiritual, and environmental focus. As I mentioned before, we can deduce that these concepts have a direct impact on individual, family, social, and global health. Some experts claim that these holistic health approaches constitute a multi-perspectival system. Theory of the implicate order. The fundamental concepts of the theory of the implicate order are contained in the notion of holo moment, or a, a term which explains the unbroken wholeness and enfolded order of the material universe. Consciousness is an integral feature of this holo movement in which mind and matter are interdependent. The very dimensions of reality results in the explicate, implicate and sub super implicate orders. The implicate order has a different feature named holo movement according to Bohm. 
the whole moment is the cornerstone of the manifest reality. Whole moment involves a core motion that is enfolded and unfolded. This flowing moment has several major implications, such as the all encompassing background to our experience, physical, psychological, and spiritual. Bomb suggests that there is a hidden order under the apparent chaos and lack of continuity of individual particles of matter. This hidden order became an implicate order according to Bohm. Moreover, the comprehension of the implicate field, which is the enfolded or unmanifest order broadly covers our physical, psychological, and spiritual experience. The implicate order has its origin in an even subtle dimension, which is the super implicate order beyond which we can assume that there are many or many more orders. These orders gradually fade into a non-dimension, non-linear, and endless sources. Bohm presents our world as a result of the interplay of multidimensional realities. The most evident and shallow level is the world of the objects included in space and time. It is a three-dimensional world, he calls it manifest explicate order. The implicate order is a very profound and everlasting concept. He terms the single origin for the matter as well as the consciousness. In fact, this order is regarded as the origin of overall matter in our universe of space-time. Bohm's thinking proposes that there are three levels of existence. The third one being the fundamental base that goes beyond the other two. In accordance with Bohm, this level of creation is limitless, without attachment to any symbol or word. This kind of reality is closely linked or connected to the Nirguna Brahma from Vedanta. The ocean of samsara, in terms of Veda's view, the objective world or the field, the field of our experiences, our desires, our attractions, raga and aversions, dueshas, happy and unhappy ones, in short, the dual reality is contained within, within the space-time dim dimension. Foremost, this order is involved in the implicate order, enfolded or unmanifested. Modern physics suggests that beyond this ocean of creation and reality, there are other, even greater realities, which means that the ultimate reality or order cannot be encompassed or measured and will not be able to be reached by our knowledge. Brahma's principle. As it is not easy to understand Brahma's concept, the mantras of the Mundakupanishad repeat it again and again for the sake of more clarity. In the second Mundaka, second Kanda mantra five, this mantra is a Mahavakya mantra, so it shows that there is only one consciousness or intelligence, Chaitanya, which is the basis at this time both for both the macro, the universe, mentioned in it as heaven, earth, etc., as well as the micro, the body-mind complex, mentioned here as a prana, organs, etc., which clearly means that the essence of everything is the one and the same Chaitanya. In this mantra, the definition of Brahman is mentioned and emphasized that the knowledge alone is the way to know Brahman and thereby attain immortality. 
In other words, knowledge of Brahman alone can give liberation, moksha. On the other hand, the modern physics theories about creation out pointed out that the unbroken thinking can only grasp the true whole or ultimate reality, so this would capture the super implicate order as also known as the super information field. The linkage between Western thought or science sciences and Vedanta concepts arise clearly and goes beyond our mental or psychological boundaries. Vedanta says that the Atma Brahman knowledge is not a belief, it's to be understood. Moreover, the Brahman principle is considered to be our own nature and its definition is Sat, Chit, Ananda. This definition is not complete if we do not point out that the Brahman principle is limitless. Actually, the adjective limitless is included in the meaning of Vedanta. In accordance with the many first-line modern scientists, especially Ilya Prigozhin, among others, who says that the synthesis of creation and the vital processes in human being is based on art, so that it is called the dance of creation. Creation and thought are a sort of dance of the mind, which functions indicatively and which properly carry out flows and merges into a harmonious and orderly sort of overall process in life as a whole. The symbol which represents the science of the 20th century is art. In the Vedic culture, it is exposed in the dance of Shiva, or Shiva Natarasha, symbolism of Shiva Natarasha. Shiva is eternity and time. The upper right hand holds a drum or dramaru which represents the cyclic rhythm between life and death, creation and destruction or dissolution. The lower right hand shows the gesture of blessing or sustaining or preserving. It represents Vishnu, be without fear. The upper left hand represents the fire of transformation. The bow of fire is the vestibule or threshold of consciousness. The left foot raised and left hand down like a trunk represent the power of revealing the truth and knowledge. The right foot represents the power to hide the truth. It is what enables growth. This is standing over the devil and this is defeated. The hair may be the cobra, the siren, the skull, and or the crescent moon. The three eyes represent the sun, moon, and fire. They are ability to create, preserve, and recycle respectively. Two eyes represent the duality. The third eye is the non-reality the non-duality. The, symboliz the symbolism of Shiva Natarasha is religion, art, and science fused into one. The distortion on perception of reality leads to self-confusion and self-ignorance. It is being out of reality. And this is my conclusion. The universe within the lotus on the heart as is last large as the universe your outside within our heaven and earth, the sun, the moon, the lightning, and all the stars, what is in the macrocosmos is in the microcosmos. Chandokya Upanishads. Thank you very much for your attention. 
Uh, this is my conclusion. The universe within the lotus on the earth as is as large as the universe your outside within our heaven and earth, the sun, the moon, the lightning, and all the stars, what is in the macrocosmos is in the microcosmos. Chandogya Upanishads. Thank you very much for your attention.